What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to vinyl wrap your mirror caps. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is clean the surface the best that you can. I like to use a clay bar on the surface to get all the contaminants off and the real fine particles that end up on your paint. Then once you clean that off, take some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and then clean the surface the best that you can. Get it nice and smooth, get all the debris off of it from your rag or anything. Make sure to get on the little creases around the mirror and everything. And once you do that, the next step is to do is take some tape, some blue painters tape or anything, and then run that tape around the edges. The reason I like to do that is because it allows my knife to have a little buffer zone between the blade of the knife and the paint. So that way if I do push too hard one time, it hits the tape and not the paint. It's just a good idea, especially if you're a beginning rapper and everything. I'm not saying that I'm a pro. I am saying though that mistakes happen and it's a good idea to use that as a little buffer. So after you get your surface prepped and cleaned, the next thing to do is actually start applying the vinyl. Before you apply the vinyl, I'm going to use a technique what's known as pre-stretching. So what I'm going to do is place the film somewhere else on a clean surface, heat the film up to a temperature, and stretch it. So this is going to work best on a convex surface, that way the film can stretch around the surface and that way you're not trying to apply a flat object onto a round thing. So if you already stretch it, it kind of gives a convex surface anyway. So it kind of just hugs around the mirror and it makes your life a whole lot easier. Okay, so after you get the mirror entirely wrapped, the next thing you want to do is cut off all your excess around the sides. But leave about a um, quarter to half of an inch overhang all the way around. So after we do that, what we're going to do is called a post heat. And what that does is it, it kills the memory of the vinyl, so that way the vinyl will not shrink again. Um, so cut it all the way around and then post heat it to kill all the memory. And then what we're going to do is cut that even closer and then we can tuck those edges. And then that way the memory's killed, it won't pull back, and all your edges are going to be tucked and hidden the way it should be, and it'll look nice and clean. Okay, to sum everything up, 
for the last couple steps, what you want to do is just cut yourself a little bit of overhang all the way around, heat it, it allows it to shrink in those edges, cut your edges close again, and then heat it for the last time, and that'll kill the memory of all the vinyl, and then it'll let it shrink in those cracks, and it shouldn't allow for pullback if your car is setting out in the sun, or when the heat hits or anything. Um, so that should be probably the last step you do and take your time on it um, as you can saw in the video it took me a long time I cut multiple times just to make sure there's no pullback or anything um, so one thing you might notice too in the video is when I started I first kind of hooked the vinyl up here on the front um, it might have been easier for me to actually start back here and so I did that when I did my other mirror and I kind of wanted to see if I did it from this side which would be easier so I found out that if you have a big surface kind of like this, start with your most aggressive curve. So this one is a finer curve, but there's not that much area to it. This one is a lot of area, and it goes from you know here to here, so that's a large area that the vinyl is going to curve around. So actually start there, if you were going to lay it down, lay it here, and then touch, you know, get it applied here first and then pull the vinyl hard over here so when you saw when I did that pre-stretch I stretched it first with the heat and then let it cool down and then once I applied it I pulled very very hard that way when it's cooled down you're not gonna do over stretch or anything while the vinyl's cold like that so it's okay if you pull hard so yeah like I said though lay here pull very hard to stretch it and get glass all the way around and then you can kind of work and apply heat here and there and kind of stretch your areas um, a little bit so it kind of helps though with that pre-stretching is once I laid it you might saw too is when I heat it the vinyl would want to shrink around the mirror so keep that in mind when you're doing this just remember if you pre-stretch it you have a little bit of room that where the vinyl itself is going to want to kind of fit to the object all right guys thanks for watching this how-to video make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos thanks again guys